video recently revamped trading and there were a few people in my circle that was confused. So I want to break it down as simple as possible so you can start trading too if you want. So let me give you a TLDR of this life skill. This is a very time consuming life skill. And what they did is that each of the territories now have three nodes or subsidies that sells you the goods and then the main city that buys the goods. So what you can do is like buy something from Alejandro farm. It would store the item for you. And then when the price fluctuates, you could fetch it and then move it to another city for the distance bonus. So an example would be if the price of the item that you have bought is 1 million and you bought it for 50%, then later on, once it reached 160% or even 300% of its current price, depending on the fluctuation rate, then you would make profit off of the difference. So it's kind of like stocks in a way. So the way for you to get started on this one is identifying where to buy the goods and where to sell the goods. So the way that you would identify the regions and make it more familiar to you is go to the map, click on the node war information, and then right click on this trade right here. So it would just like limit you on seeing the trade icons where the NPCs are located at. So you can easily right click to it if you want to. Now you could click on the Lenos and it would show you which one is in that area. And then for example, this one, Serendia, you would see here that these are the trade items. So the subsidy would be Alejandro Farm, Galish, and then this one. And then like, for example, the Calfion, this would be the North um, Plantation. And then this is like the main city where you sell it. This is Kaplan and this is there. So I'm, I'm familiar with that because like when you go to this map, like the general information again, and then right click on the node and then right click on the trade, then it would show you like which um, part is that one. So like it's much easier for you to identify. So that's one thing you could play around with this one. But my preferred setting again is node war information and then right clicking on the trade. And then like I'm just like shuffling through all of these ones. So I would know which belongs to which. So let's now go over the sub cities or like the sub nodes that have the trading one. So again, you could just click on this one to identify it, right click on it to go and then the node and you would see like the main city. So I'm at Serendio territory. I'm buying from Eastern Gateway and then I'm going to later sell it. So you have to have the nodes connected. So as an example, I don't have the Eastern Gateway connected to the main city. And this goes to like the other cities that you're connecting. So if you're trading from Altinova, like the Medaya territory and then Serendia territory, and then the Baleos territory, then you have to have all of these nodes connected. So the way that you would know how much contribution points that you would know uh, you would need is go to this part of the map, connect node directly, and you would get this window. Click on the first one, click on the main city, click on the end node, click on where you want it to connect. You would see here that it has three node count. It requires five CP. I have six right now free. And then I have to have 20 energy in order to connect to that one. So I would just click on connect node and it would connect for me automatically. So this now enables us to talk to the trade manager without the prompt of saying that the nodes are not connected. So you go to the trade manager, go to trade, and you would see that there are some node investment level over here. So you can invest energy in that node in order for you to access this one. But for this example, we're going to use the first aid kit and then the pile of damaged iron. So you would see here that this one was initially at like 1.2 million. So that's the base price. And now it is at 1.158 million. So it means that this one is being sold at a lower price. So it means that like you could profit off of this one when it goes up. So kind of like stocks in a way. So you would go to food and then this one is 1.25 million being sold at 956,000. So that is basically like the gist of how things are. But the hidden thing on this one is there is a standby fee. So kind of like a processing fee if you buy the item. So let's say I'm going to buy the pile of damaged iron and I'm going to, let's say, 
buy 20 pieces of this one. And you would see that the total price equates to 20 of the 1158. So it's not the full price. So it means that I'm a bit lower in this one. So it means that you would want to buy the lower ones in order for you to profit more. So I'm going to go to a character with energy and I'm going to invest so I could get level five. So in order for you to bump up this level, you could click on the node and it would show you the level on the left side. So you could just invest energy, press F to maximize it, and it would give all of the character's energy to it to be invested over here. So we just reached level four. I need to go to another tune to be able to invest more energy. And you would see, and it's now level five. So it means that you would need a lot of characters to bump up these ones. So I would suggest to concentrate on one node per territory first, and then eventually build up to the three ones. So for example, you level up the Eastern Gateway, and then the Glish, and then the Alejandro Farm. So you would have all of the trade items unlocked. So we would now return back to the Eastern Gateway, top back to the manager, go to trade, and now that item is unlocked. So again, you would see that this one is being sold at the original price of 1.25 million and being now sold for 956,000. So let's say I'm going to buy 10 pieces of this one. And you would see that it's 956,000 totaling to 9.5 million. So you would see like there's a discount when you buy it. So I'm going to purchase it. So you have to exit out in order for you to see the standby fee. So you would see here that every items that you have is going to incur a standby fee wherein they're going to hold your item in this storage. And every four hours, there's going to be fluctuation and an additional fee that is charged for you. So how would you know? So for this one, 956,000, and this is where we bought it. And let's say that it increased 157 percent after four hours then you would see here that it's now being you know sold at 1.8 so you could trade it plus the distance bonus to another region to make profit let's now go to a main city which is altinova to show you how to sell the item so we are now at the main city of altinova and what we're going to do is like we're going to be talking to the trade manager so once we talk to her, you could go to trade. And by the way, you could go to chat and like get the older knowledge of items that were spaced out. So you would go to trade and you would see here the current percentage of those items. So you would see here that like we have bought this one for 180, 1.8 million. And then the profit is only 33,000. So it was like super low. So. On these ones, the 76 item, the Marble Dragon Statues, you would see that we bought it for a low price too, which is like still down. So it means that even if you move out of the territory, the current percentage remains. So it means that this one is only applying the distance bonus. That's why there's a profit. So it's wise to wait for the item to actually increase in value before loading it into your cart and moving to another city. So that's why like there's three sub cities that you could explore from and then have more options. And now, so you know, like how the percentage kind of works from the sub city to another city. Let's now go to this quotation board. This shows you what the item current price is to make it much easier for you to navigate around. So for example, we are at the general goods. And then I have items that I bought at there for about 77% before, and it's now 123%. So I could now go to Bear, get those items, and trade it back to another territory for 123%. So you would see here that, you know, just to prove it, like this is Altinova, this is the current price for it, right? And this is the one you would sell. So let's now go to Heidel. And we're now in Heidel, and you would see that it's still 123% up. So let's now discuss what affects the price. So if you go to your menu and then go to life, and there's going to be an Old Moon Guild newsletter here. So currently I'm in the Calpheon region. It says here, 
that the news about northern wheat plantation selling a large amount of good has led to a slight drop in general good prices. So if I go to one of the traders here in, for example, Kaplan, and you would see here that I'm at the general goods, it did plunge. And you would see that it's 76%. I could buy it for a lower price. So you would see that, you know, I could buy like more of these ones up to five items, but like I've reached the max for this one because like I bought this too when they were around like 60%. So there's also a speculation rumor that you cannot see in that. So for example, the sticky glutinous mucus is under the military supply. And military supply was not mentioned in that newsletter. So if I go now again to that newsletter in Calfion region, you don't see the military supply. So that is what BDO is saying is like part of the mystery. Another example for Camasilvia, there is a slight rise in general goods and a slight rise on the raw materials. So when you go over here and go to the military supply, this was not mentioned, but you would see this is 37% and it's now 533,000, 533,000 from 1.4 million. So that is a huge thing. So let's say like, you know, I search for the other ones, there is okay. We have the thievery mushroom at 42, but like this is much lower. And I could take 50 of these ones. And it's only going to cost me 26 million. So I can go ahead and buy these ones. And I would now have a stock of training longbow for that price. And I could go and take about like 16 of these ones. So I would be at the limit. And this is just for 8 million. And I would have it there. So... Part of the things that I'm tracking now is for the savory and also for the training longbow. This is for, for both food and military supply. So to kind of wrap up on the profit side, all you have to do is make sure that you are aware of these increases and then have a, like if you have a bunch of them, for example, for me, I bought them at a very low price and then it speculated to 288%. I can just go back and forth and sell this one and this would make me a lot of money. So for example, I currently have 22 million on my account. Then I got 20 of these on my wagon, went to Kama Sylvia, it's still selling at 288%. I would bargain to make it 2.9 and then I would sell all of those ones, 78 million and I could go back and forth to get all of my stocks and be able to sell it at a high price on that four hour window. So in summary, another TLDR, you would need to connect all of the nodes in order for you to be able to exchange or else it would be negative profit. And secondly, you have to invest up until like level seven so you can unlock all of the items. Number three is that you would go to subsidy to subsidy in order to buy the lowest items, wait for four hours or more, and then fetch those items and sell it to another territory for the distance bonus and then also for profit and then like you would do that rotation up until like you make a profit so it's very time consuming um it's a lot of guesswork honestly but like to make it simple you just have to buy a red and sell a green that is the main idea of this trading game now i would not again recommend this for active players if you are like a busy person like me, but like for um, for example, I'm working from home and I do want to play video for quite some time and do this like side activity um, aside from bartering, which I do a lot, then this is for you. But like if you want instant money, then this might not be for you. This requires a lot of patience and that is it. So hopefully you have gained some insight on what the new trading is. I'm still exploring it. So there might be some events or activities that might happen that I haven't seen. So we will see. And hopefully if you find, those, uh, find this video helpful, uh, please do leave a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys on the next one.